We're starting off NWA USA with six woman tag team action. The Renegade Twins joining forces with Ruthie J to take on Maddie, Missa Kate, and La Rosa Negra. All right, I am excited to see the ladies in action here. La Rosa Negra starting this off with Ruthie J, who made an impressive debut here against our NWA Women's World Champion, Camille, in the main event. What a debut that is, huh, yeah, Joe? Super impressive, but Camille will be in action at NWA 31 2, and she'll be taking on La Rosa Negra, who's cashing in that Champion Series title shot on the pay per view. Covered by the Ruthie. cover shoulders down. NWA 312 coming your way in Chicago, Friday night, April 7th, followed by NWA Power and USA tapings the following Saturday, April 8th. Tickets and information at NWATIX.com. You can see action like this! La Rosa Negra, immediately into the cover. Can I just say how proud I am of the entire NWA women's division that we have here? Every single woman that comes to the doors steps foot in the NWA ring more than delivers, and they are so impressive. I'm Tag. so proud of all of them. They Tag look great. Made. They wrestle better. I mean, 100%. man, best sure. women's division in the world, yep. in my opinion, right here in the NWA. Completely agree. And now Robin oh, Renegade with woo. knees to the chest. Follow Ruthie up. J. Woo! The double knees. Tag to Robin. Robin. Dragon to Rosa to the middle cover. Well, La Rosa oh. Negra made a point to say that you know, one of her goals was to uh, not she's not, to prepare for Camille. She's going to wrestle the top women in, in the sport. Head to the back. She's going to come out and wrestle champs, and that's what she's doing. Speaking of champs, your NWA World Women's Tag Team Champions partnering with La Rosa Negra. And Maddie. Maddie and Missa Kate will be taking on Pretty Empowered, defending their championships against Roxy and Ella Envy. Face buster by Maddie. Comes Missa Kate. Nice. Oh. Missa Kate excited. Cover by Head home Kate. to Chicago to be on the big pay-per-view. Back into the corner. Comes Rosa. La Rosa Negra. Robin trying to get to her corner. Rosa! Beautiful suplex by Rosa. Holds rolling. on to it. Yeah, rolling through. Number two. Power. Coming on. Let's see one more. Showing that Latina pride. This Puerto Rican wrestler oh, can oh, she get oh, her oh. up. Oh, oh got her. Three amigos, double legs hooked. Kick out. Tag was made, in comes Maddie. I like Maddie's style. Hooks the leg. Vicious. Oh Absolutely yeah, I, I, I vicious. dig it, I dig it. Because when you look at Maddie, she looks like the sweet girl next door, and she gets in the ring and it's like, uh-uh, ain't nothing sweet about Maddie. <laughs> Controlling the arm and the neck of oh my God. Charlotte like Renegade. That. Excuse me, Robin Renegade. Well, and you look around the ring, on your, to your point, Bell, but you look around the ring, and I'm thinking, man, these these ladies are physical, and they can go. Oh, yeah. But it's all six of them. It's exactly what you said with Maddie. Oh, absolutely. All six of them. Absolutely. Jawbreaker grabbing the foot. Robin with the yeah. Enziguri. Robin Tag is made. In comes the sister, Charlotte. Oh, Big clothesline. Man. Takes down one half of the tag champs and takes down Miss Kate. Flapjack. That's something for everybody. Ducks the clothesline. Pull it on in. Fisherman. Fisherman's with the bridge. With the bridge. Beautiful Could bridge. be enough, and Maddie's right there to break it up. Here's Robin. Dosi -si Doe gets sent to the outside by Maddie. Tag is made. In comes Ruthie J. These two ladies working together against Misa Kate. She's able to hold onto the ropes. Kick oh, away. Kick away to Ruthie J. Pump kick. Charlotte. Lisa Kate on fire the here. Outside. <laughs> what a shot to the what back. A clubbing blow that La Rosa was. As Negra Rosa's up top. Off the top. Oh my Coming God. down hard on the Renegade Twins. Onto the concrete floor. Wait a Risking minute. it all. Look at Lisa Kate. She Lisa calls this the suffocate. The suffocate. The suffocate. Ruth DJ's got a She's tap. Tapping out. She's got a tap.
Wow. That's all uh, I can say about that match. That was the winners of this match, the team of Maddie, Missa Kate, and La Rosa Negra. Incredible matchup. Yeah, building a lot of momentum as we get closer to closer to NWA 312. Our NWA women's tag team champions will be defending those belts against Pretty Empowered, and La Rosa Negra will be challenging Camille for the World Women's Championship. Jamie Stanley. Jamie, let me guess. You're here to talk about Jamie Stanley. Very funny, May, but no, believe it or not, I'm not here to talk about Jamie Stanley, but let's be honest, if I was, you'd love it. Uh, the viewers at home would love it. It would uh, double, nay, triple the ratings, but no, no, I'm not here to talk about me. I'm here to talk about we. And who is we? That dude, Jamie Stanley, and his newest acquisition, Joe Alonzo. I mean, what did we do? We did exactly what we said we were going to do. We disposed of PJ Hawks. We got rid of Alex Taylor. Who's next? Who was next? Oh, yeah. Carrie Morton. You told us to get rid of a worthy opponent and win. We did that not once, not twice. Now we are coming for what is deserved our NWA Junior Heavyweight Championship opportunity. So, Carrie, stop hiding behind your daddy and uh, Ricky. Uh, Put that hearing aid adjusted back up to 10 because you need to listen to this. In the pay-per-view, the inevitability becomes a reality. Joe Alonzo, that dude, Jamie Stanley, will be the new NWA Junior Heavyweight Champion. And all you can do is sit back, relax, respect greatness when you see it, and deal with it. Here we come. Welcome back to the action inside the NWA arena. Natalia Markova taking on a debuting La Brava Escobar. La Brava Escobar gonna have her hands full. Oh yeah, with Markova, what a what an opponent to have a debut with. Strong style, oh, wow. hard hitting tactics of Markova. I, Markova was looking for the lockup, but La Brava Escobar went straight for a, a strike to the throat. Oh my God! La Brava, welcome to the NWA, <laughs> Natalia Markova style. Oh my God! Trying to bait in La Brava. Oh, then Markova just lighten her up. Those chops. Brava. Double chop. Face first into the turnbuckle and oh, doing the Beautiful. neck breaker. Beautiful. Oh, this so could be all she wrote for Markova. Markova. No kick out. We mentioned it on our earlier broadcast, all the women that come into oh, the National yes. Wrestling, they step up. La Brava Escobar needs to prove herself in this matchup. In the debut, but she just got kicked in the face. That's Markova She's now. Markova by the hair. Had to pull the hair to get the advantage. Markova in the corner. Now the face, the Dragging face. Dragging her eyes. The neck snap off the top rope. Yeah, but those those chops to the chest that she took from Marcona oh, will yeah. wake anybody up. She was just she's just trying to get get a little break in there. Bravo clothesline. This could be a major upset. Big victory on a debut kick out by Markova. Round and pound now. Not making as much contact. That was a 
Nice set of blocking, blocking with the forearms by Natalia Markova. Kicks to the thighs of Markova, followed by that back elbow. Step up Ben Zaguri. And Markova, Cover both Markova. legs hooked. La Brava. Almost there, Markova kicking out. Impressive combination there. Robert, again with a handful of hair. Looking for a big one. Oh, transitions mid-air. Uh-oh. LaBrava's in trouble now. Oh. Woo! She's giving it right back to her. Those kicks to the oh, oh, good oh night. my gosh. Oh, she is so lucky had she was able to move out of the way. She had the beautiful destruction. She scouted and a chop block, a chop block. Markova's vulnerable here. Ah, oh, knee first into the canvas. I don't think so. Yeah. Escobar targeting the legs. Good strategy when you're going after Markova. Has those lethal kicks, the beautiful destruction in the corner. If you can neutralize the kicks, you can neutralize the offense of Natalia Markova. And is she staying on it? Man, I, I'm I've, very impressed from what I'm seeing, yeah. seeing so far from La Brava Escobar. Bringing it to Markova. Not many she's opponents bring lock. it or able to she's bring it like right this there, to Markova. Checking the shoulders. That's good positioning. She's got that forearm at the back. Oh of, my oh, God! Look at the way she's yeah. into the pin kick out. Wow, I thought Man. That, that took a lot out of Markova to make that happen. This crowd is so into this match. Let's see what kind of wheel she has left. Oh, man. Oh, to answer your question, Tim, yeah, wheels enough. up. <laughs> Still oh. hard to maintain her balance. I don't know if the thud from the kicks is resonating at home as much as it is here, folks, but uh, <laughs> that's pretty loud. Those are yeah. pretty hard kicks. The split leg into the face buster. Coming in hot. Yes, Woo! Stinger! And Kova that could be all she wrote. Kick out. La Brava Escobar. I give it to her for being able yeah. to hold yeah. her own in it, her debut match against Markova. Tough and tenacious. Sure. But you already see the damage being done in this matchup starting to bleed from the mouth. And I am not surprised in the oh, least sure. with all of these kicks oh, that have been God, coming. Oh, my God, she is. All these kicks that have been coming. Uh, that's a tough, uh, tough first draw. But she got the job. Yeah, she's standing up to it. La Brava, not giving up, coming into the corner. Nice. Step up. Yes. Snapmare out of the corner. Into the waist lock. La Brava backed into the corner. Oh, no, 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 there no, it is. Almost Got it. It's It's got to be over. Yeah, that's it, Timber. Nobody kicks out. The winner of this match, Natalia Markova. Markova proves time after time why she is a driving force here in the NWA Women's Division. Coming out on top, congratulations to La Brava Escobar and an impressive debut here in the NWA. Couldn't have said it better myself, Velvet. Let's toss things over to Mae Valentine, who's standing by with Sal the Pal. Please welcome Salvation. Sal, where do I even begin? Uh, where does whatever begin? One where, where? I was born a baby. <laughs> Love is pain, Highness. Anybody that tells you any different is just selling you something. And I, I need to sell it back to the father because I've lost the father, but not the son. No, the son is I and I and him. <laughs> it's the son. <laughs> where have I been? Where are you going? I know where I've been. Shooting the cover of Playboy. <laughs> father, 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 please forgive me. Father, please forgive me for I will come back and I will make it right. <laughs> you see, at the end of the day is the night, but at the end of the night, we have the day. So why don't we all get together and play? See you later, mate. <laughs> Thank you, Salvation. Whoa. 
Whoa, what's the gig? Danny Deals, Danny W. Deals, and the lovely Candy. Oh, man, we're right on the heels, enough said, right? You know what I did? I snuck in at night after the show was over. I ripped off all the turnbuckles and made everybody sign it. To give the deal man your shirt size, I'm just going to throw in this because I only got a couple left. I only got about eight left. For free? Listen, we're cutting deals here, Candy. What are you talking about? Of course, this new wonderful program that I designed all about myself. Look at that. Hey, what's up, boss? Look who's in it. Oh, buddy, right there. It's actually worth $30 now, but we're going to sell for 10 bucks because we don't care. We're cutting deals. NationalWrestlingLines.com. Hit the shop button. What do you got? Let's do it. NWA Wrestling fans, Kyle Davis here in the Control Center, and I'm about to run down everything that is NWA 312 live on pay-per-view Friday night, April 7th, 9 p.m. Central Time, coming at you from Highland Park, Illinois, the home of NWA President William Patrick Corgan. We sold out, and I want to thank you fans for that, but that does not mean you get to miss out. You can order and see it live as it happens on Fight.tv. Do that right now! And if you have doubts, hey, let's change your mind about that by tuning into the pre-show that'll be on our YouTube channel, 8 p.m. Central Time, Friday night. You can see LeBron Escobar going against Natalia Markova, the woman who knocked her teeth out in their previous encounter. The NWA United States Tag Team Champions, the Country Gentlemen, put their titles on the line against the new team of the Savages. There will be a strap match. It will be hair versus mask in that strap match as Sal the Pal puts his hair on the line against Gags the Gimp's mask. Folks, somebody's going to leave the ring missing something they entered with. Also, Daisy Kill, he's come out of nowhere with his Giants to attack former NWA World Heavyweight Champion Trevor Murdoch. But Mike Knox has stepped up to the plate. He says, I'll be your partner. It's going to be tag team action. Daisy Kills, the Giant Talos versus Trevor Murdoch and Mike Knox. And that is just the beginning because that gets us to NWA 312 live on pay-per-view as the national championship will be on the line. The great Scion puts his championship up against EC3 and his new business partner, Black G's. We also have the NWA World Women's Tag Team Championships will be defended as the new champions, Maddie and Missa, put their titles on the line against the women they defeated to become champions pretty empowered. The Bob Luce Memorial Battle Royal to determine who will be the new number one contender for the national championship. We've got the finals of the NWA World Women's TV title tournament as Kenzie Page faces Max the Impaler. One person walks away, new champion, inaugural champion, making history. Speaking of making history, junior heavyweight champion Kerry Morton has been on a tear and he will be putting his title on the line against Joe Alonzo. The NWA TV champion Tom Latimer will face Bully Ray in singles competition. Now the title will not be on the line, just bragging rights. That is a main event quality matchup right here on NWA 312. The NWA Tag Team Champions, La Rebellion, defend against Dak Draper and Mims Magnum Muscle. And the NWA World Women's Championship will be on the line as current champion, the reigning defending one-time Brickhouse, Camille, puts it all on the line against La Rosa Negra. And speaking of possible upsets, the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion, Tyrus, the Great American Smash, puts the 10 pounds of gold up against the masterpiece, Chris Adonis. Can Chris lock in the master lock and change the course of the National Wrestling Alliance? There is only one way to find out. That's to tune in to fight April 7th, 9 p.m. Central Time for NWA 312. Be a part of the excitement. Be a part of the action. Order now. The National Wrestling Alliance, wrestling as it's meant to be. Get ready for a weekend of non-stop action and excitement as the NWA presents 312 on pay-per-view. Live from Highland Park on Friday, April 7th, be a part of history as NWA World's Heavyweight Champion Tyrus defends against the masterpiece Chris Adonis. The NWA World Women's title is also on the line as champion the Brickhouse Camille takes on La Rosa Negra. Watch Scion defend the national title against EC3 and witness the crowning of the first ever NWA World Women's Television Champion. But that's just the beginning as the action continues Saturday, April 8th. Don't miss your chance to be a part of our NWA Power and NWA USA TV tapings. If that's not enough, join us as it all kicks off Thursday, April 6th at Madame Zuzu's Tea House for a special book signing with world champion Tyrus and wrestling legend Medusa. Tickets are available now at NWATix.com. Pre-order NWA 312 today at Fight.tv. Don't miss your chance to witness some of the most exciting matches in wrestling today as the NWA takes over Chicago. The NWA, wrestling as it's meant to be. Handshake. Oh. Well, Black this is going to be interesting to see these two kind of yeah. go at it. Well, Black Cheese wanted to make sure that, uh. that, <laughs> that he made sure that Tyrus remembered that it was a scrimmage. Sure. You heard Tyrus, right? Yeah. It's a scrimmage. 
So it's all. Oh, oh, see, that's just, normally, that's just sweet. Normally, Tyrus would have yeah. used his entire weight to right. smash yes. the opponent up against the turnbuckle. Well, in, in a scrimmage, it's, it's all about getting reps. It's all about, yes. you know, you, you complete it's a like play. Practice. Yeah, you complete a play. He completed the play, but no need to no, do any damage. Coming off the ropes, gets caught. What's Tyrus going to do oh, here? Tyrus would normally go into that exploder suplex, but Land him on the top turnbuckle. Had him on the head. Scrimmage. Like, it's all good. Yeah, it's just a scrimmage. We're family. It's all good. We're good. Yeah, brothers, you know, it's family. Oh, oh my gosh. Why would you do that if you're Jesus? I fun. don't think you do. Look, uh, at, the looks, yeah. Look at the face of Tyrus. Look at the face. Look at the face of Jesus. Tyrus was playing nice. Now he done pissed him off. Oh not God. smart, Jeez. Well, and if anybody knows throat. what's not smart, wouldn't I mean, Jeez would know better than anybody, right? Tag. Yeah, EC3 sending a message to Tyrus right here. Another T-bone suplex. Oh, oh, a little oh bit finger too tips close. away. He got real close to getting grabbed by the Manster. EC3 was holding down the arm, making sure he's in place for the frog splash. The winners of this match, Black G's and EC3. This was not the family-based scrimmage that we thought this match would be. Eric Jackson really had a lot of heart. He fought with everything that he had in this matchup. But the odds were just stacked against him, and now EC3 getting face-to-face -face with the holder of the 10 pounds of gold. Please welcome Savages and Country Gentlemen. Gentlemen, the match is set. Savages versus Country Gentlemen for the U.S. Tag Team Titles. What are your thoughts? My thoughts? This man right here to my side and the six foot four, 300 plus pound human wrecking machine known the world over as the Dane Event are far from gentlemen. This man, Bulletproof Troop, will knock your lights out or tap you out at a moment's notice any time I snap my fingers. Troop snaps your bones. So, gentlemen, we would love nothing more than the opportunity to take that title from you and that title from you, and there isn't a damn thing you can do about it. The Dane event is the only one other than the country gentleman that'll be standing in that ring that knows what it's like to hold NWA gold. So until he's here, you probably want to get your little puppy back on a chain. Listen, when you talk to me, you look me in the eye and you keep your bony little fingers away from me. And you, boy, put those eyes back in your head. I can see you trying to stare daggers and intimidate somebody. You ain't intimidating nobody. You can walk around with your little ears looking all funny, but I love cauliflower, son. I'm going to bottom right off. You put your eyes back in your head, or I'm going to knock them out next time you look at me sideways. We heard about enough of you. I'm done talking. Big man, why don't you tell them what's going to happen? Yeah, I'm looking at you, big boy. And I'm going to tell Dane that I want you. Let Dane chew your man up right here. <laughs> there ain't going to be nothing gentle about what me and the Dane event are going to do to you two. Tap. Snap or nap, we're leaving with shot belts. Bang, bang. Okay, thank you so much, guys. The following tag team match is one fall with a 10 minute TV time limit. Introducing first at a combined weight of 732 pounds and a combined height of 12 feet 8 inches. This is Jay Bradley, Wrecking Ball Ligurski. They are the Fixers. The Fixers still wearing... And their opponents already in the ring, the team of Porter and VHS. Fixers still wearing those decommissioned NWA United States Tag Team title belts. Uh, of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, be standing. under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. They're supposed to tell you, please rise. Sure. And they they, they kind of skipped like that part, so style. I was unprepared. I, I 
only have so Watch many. Watch out for all right? Watch out. And here we go, the bell is rung. And there you see okay, a debuting Porter with Jay Bradley getting a back elbow. Definite Woo! size advantage, although Porter's a, a, a big man himself, but compared to Bradley and Ligurski. Oh, sure. Porter now in control. The tag is made. In comes VHS. Going up top. Ah, big, big drop off the top. Winding that arm up. VHS oh. got the left arm on Jay Bradley now. And Jay Doesn't Bradley's like just yeah. looking him in the eyes like nothing's happening. Sends him off. Ducks that line. Ducks the back elbow. Oh, man. Caught by Bradley on the shoulder. VHS is in trouble. Tag is made to Ligurski. All right, let's see, what he's, let's see what he can do with the big man. VHS oh. has the advantage because of his speed. No, I like this. Oh, man. Okay. Uh-oh. Not good. If you've ever heard the term, just going to run him to VHS death, that's what VHS was trying to on do. On the second turnbuckle. Oh, oh looks no. like he went for that head scissors. Oh, the power. Oh, no. Oh, oh my, my God, a hard landing. Not, I mean, what do you think? I'm 200 pound weight difference here? Uh, at, at the very I, least. I actually think it's probably more, Tim. It's oh, man. Ligurski clubbing blow to the back of VHS. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't. Oh, Shot to the chest. God. Tag is he made. might have broken the VCR on that one. <laughs> Touche. out of the corner, sending VH, VHS across the ring. And both these guys, it, it, they're, they're huge, but both of them have a little bit of a mean streak that we see comes out every now and then. Hey Bradley scoops him, slams him down. Tactile. And they're not, they're not, they're not letting VHS breathe on this one. Oh, look at, look at Lukerski just choking the life out of VHS. Oh man, just a thud. I think he might have damaged his spine on the chopped his chest. That was deep. On the shoulder of Ligurski, tag, tag is made to Bradley. Oh, he's in a bad spot here. And a big boot from the boss, Ligurski. Jay Bradley getting right in the face of Porter. Yeah, Porter hadn't even, haven't, has, hasn't made it into the ring yet. He's, he's really hungry to get in there and help. VHS out. Yeah, VHS has been completely isolated. Spun around now. Ooh, oh man. Oh my gosh. And he's leaving he's leaving blue marks on his back there. hundred percent Tim is. Jay Bradley. Oh, oh now working man. on the chest. Clubbing blow across the chest of VHS at the hands of Jay Bradley. Back to Ligurski. Jay Bradley back out onto the floor, spinning VHS around. And, oh, no, no, oh, no, no, not no, this. no, no, don't do it. Oh, oh, drops the elbow right across the chest. And, I mean, VHS wasn't. Oh, just grinding, mm. grinding the point of the elbow into the temple. Got to remind everybody their name again. Oh, wait. Tag is made. Here comes Porter. Taking it to Ligurski, taking it to Bradley, taking it to both members of the Fixers. Man, he's, he's throwing cannons in there. a lot more. Shoots 
Ligurski. Ligurski reverses oh, into no. a clothesline by Bradley. Completely leveled in the fixers. This is one of the most dominant performances I've ever seen from them. Oh, not good for Porter right now. He's in the sandwich of the fixers. Man. Smothered. That's got to be. And it's got to be over. There it is. Brutal. The winners of this match, the fixers. Uh, take a look. Take well, a look at this. Well, wait a minute. It's Billy. It's Billy. Oh, Billy has got the belts. Boss Billy man. Corgan went and got the belts. He's been trying to get those decommissioned belts away from the fixers, and he got them. They were distracted, and he got the belts. Jay Bradley's trying now? to take them. Don't. Don't do it, Jay. No way. You'll get fired. Yeah, what are you going to do now? Those belts belong in a museum, and that's where Billy's going to be taking them. The fixers. Not going to argue with The Billy fix Corgan. was in for the fixers the whole time. This was all about Billy trying to get the old belts back. And he's got it. Nice him. job, boss. Outsmarting the Billy. fixers. Thank you. On the main event of NWA USA. We'll see you on power.